I got this month's four Grail comics that I'm going to be sending out to go get graded. If you want to know what they are and see what my predictions will be, just stick around. Go, go subscribe to We Love Comics. We love, and we do, we love comics. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. Hello, my comic book enthusiasts. My name is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. And today, I'm going to show you the four comic books that I'm going to be sending out to go get graded. And I make my predictions, tell you the prices, and I even now include what color the pages are. And uh, it usually takes about a month, month, and two weeks to send them off to PGX. And whether you like PGX or not, that's up to you. I'm not here to tell you who to purchase from. But if you do decide that you want to purchase anything from PGX, I have a little special deal for you guys who subscribe to my channel. The links are in the description below. Um, if you get 10 books graded by PGX, you can get one pressed for free. And also, if you want to have the greatest notes added to the back of your slabs, it's a $5 charge. And again, it's only uh, for my We Love Comics subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed, please do. Um, PGX is the only company that will put the greatest notes on the back of the books. Now, keep in mind, you can get them for free if you want to email them. So you don't have to pay for them if you don't want to. But this is for the people who want to have it added to the slabs, which I do every time now. It makes it a little bit more, you know, responsible with the gradings. And you get an idea of why your book was graded the way it was. So let's get into the first book that I am going to be sending out. Now, this is a book I just got recently. Uh, this is Flash issue number 106. Now, this is a lower grade book. It's not going to be anything that's going to be majorly high grade, but that's okay. As long as the cover is intact, that's all I care about. Uh, this is the first appearance of Gorilla Grodd. I also found out, thanks to some of my awesome subscribers, that it's also the first appearance of the Pied Piper and um, only the second book in the Flash series because it was named something else before that. So that's cool to know. Now, it does have some water stains, so uh, dry cleaning is not going to help it. It may fade it a little bit. Uh, it has some color breaks. The stains also on the back. Staples are intact. Now, one of the things I noticed here, I was when I saw the pictures, I wanted to make sure if it was not trimmed or not, because if you watch my videos, you know I had a uh, prior problem with that with another seller, which, by the way, has not even... Uh, responded to the complaint yet and that's my amazing spider-man number nine so unfortunately there are just some people out there but i paid a total of 247 dollars and 70 cents for this book but um i want to make sure this wasn't trimmed so i looked at a bunch of different images and a lot of them have that miscut so that is something that's a manufacturer thing so that's why I always tell people, the more you know about comics, the less likely you are to have somebody take advantage of you. So make sure you do your research. Don't just assume. Do your work. So um, I'm going to predict this book is about a 1.8 to a 2.5 range, which for the price I paid is still a great price. Uh, this has creamed off white pages. So um, definitely a book to pick up if you get the opportunity. There is number two, another book I showed recently. Uh, this is Aquaman issue number one. Uh, this comic was selling on eBay. A person just listed it. They had it for buy it now for 500 and that was it. No best offer or anything. So I actually contacted them and said, would $400 allow me to bring this book home? And they said, you know what? It's a slow month. Why not? And they accepted it, and they actually sent me an offer. So eBay sellers can do that. Even in the middle of an auction, they can send you an offer. I don't know how to do it because I've never sold... Well, I haven't sold them in years, but I have never tried that before. So maybe they'll have to learn if they don't know, or they could just relist it. But the problem with that is if you don't catch it right away, somebody else might snag it. So try and have them send the offer themselves. But I only paid $400 for this book. Now, this is the first appearance of Quisp, which is not a major DC character, but it is still a first appearance... Um, whether this person will have a little Easter egg in the movie, who knows? I guess we'll find out. Uh, but it is the first in a series, which is always something popular, especially with a movie coming out. You know, fingers crossed that DC gets themselves on track. Um, I'm going to predict this book. I, I paid 400 like I said, because I made that deal. So make sure you make deals happen. Uh, they said it's about a 5.0. 
I agree. I think it might be a little bit higher, but I'm going to stick with the 5.0 to a 5.5 range, and we'll see what it comes back as. But this has creamed off-white pages. All right, next up. This is a book, another book I got recently. This was My White Whale. This is one of the books that got stolen from me years ago. I've actually won this book a couple of times, and the times I won it, the uh, seller backed out or just canceled it or didn't mail the book. So this one was very hard to get. Uh, it's a very expensive book, so um, I can't afford the higher grades anymore, but hey, I'll take what I can get. This, of course, is Amazing Spider-Man number 14, the first appearance of the Green Goblin in his magical flying vacuum. Also has a Hulk appearance. Again, lower grade. Um, the staples are intact, but you could see there's some major color breaks. I actually like it because it almost looks like a spider web. But there's another one right here. There's a piece missing there. Piece missing there. So, again, you know, major, not a majorly high grade. But I only paid $413.99. Uh, that's about a 0 0.5 grade, and I'm buying this for the future because it's just a matter of time before the Green Goblin ends up in an Amazing Spider-Man movie. I mean, that's like not using the Joker in a Batman movie, so it's just a matter of time. Marvel always builds it up, so once they do make an announcement, even if they can have a Easter egg or an end credit scene, you know, people are going to just really start gravitating to this book. So it has very much still potential to get, even at the prices that it has. So get this book if you can. Um, it's got off-white to white pages, so I'm happy about that. Um, I'm going to say it's a, roughly about a 1.5 to a 2.0. It'll probably come out to about a, um, probably a 1.8. But we'll find out, because I'll take whatever, and I'm going to be happy with that. Now, one of the things I want to mention to people, don't ever assume. Uh, the staples are... You know, hanging on, but they are barely hanging on. So I wrote a little note on the back that says, Staples barely hanging on, please handle with care. So remember, the people that are grading these, they're not going to love these books as much as you do because they're your books. So don't just assume that somebody is going to open this with the utmost of care or even know what issues are in it, you know, problems are in it until they open it. So if they know right off the bat that the Staples are barely hanging on, they might be a little bit more careful. So don't be afraid to add information. So you may have seen what the other book is. But again, another book I got recently. This is actually my third copy of this book. Cannot wait to get this one sent in to be graded. This is Hulk number 181. First full appearance of Wolverine. Um, especially now that Wolverine is back in the Marvel Comics. You know, quote unquote back at this point. Um... The fact that Marvel and, you know, Disney have acquired Fox, it's not 100% official yet, but it's pretty much done at this point. But uh, once he ends up, even again, in an end credit scene, forget it. You think this book is ex expensive now? Wait until that time. I guarantee you the prices will almost double once you actually hear the announcement of Wolverine being in a Marvel movie. Uh, fans are going to go nuts. So I know this is an expensive book. Make sure that you check this book for the Marvel stamp. Don't just assume that even if somebody shows a picture that they didn't do a little bait and switch. Don't assume because you're the one that pays the price if you don't check. I did check this book. It does have the Marvel stamp. Now this one will benefit from a pressing because you could see right here how part of the back is kind of showing here. And as you go, it gets thinner and thinner. So it's a little bit of what they call a miswrap. So a pressing will help this book. There is a tear from here up to his arm, well, his hand. So that will lower the grade a little bit, obviously. Everything else looks pretty good. I paid $1,814, which may seem high, but that's actually below what it's currently worth, even when I wanted it at that price. Um, at a 5.0, this book is already about a $2,200 book, up to about $2,300. And that's before they even announce them in a movie. So, again, I bought this with the future in mind. Because it, it doesn't matter how much you pay, it matters how much it's worth at the point you eventually want to sell it. And eventually I'm going to sell my books. I mean, I'm not going to take my books to my grave, and I don't have any kids to leave them to. So, I, like I've said before, probably between the age of 50 and 55, somewhere at that point... I'll probably be selling my books to kind of enjoy the, my twilight years, so to speak. Um, but this has creamed off-white pages. Again, it does have the Marvel stamp. I'm going to predict about a 5.0 to a 5.5. Uh, we'll see where it comes back. But again, 
I mean, it can come back a 3.0, and I would still, as of now, break even. So I'm not really worried about that. But again, this is a book to get. If you can't afford this one, get Hulk 180. So those are the books. Uh, quick thing I just wanted to mention. Um, I just I decided to take down the um, the store for the cups and the mugs. I mean, the mugs and the t-shirts and stuff. Because uh, one of my subscribers asked me to do it because they wanted one. His name is Harvey. So thank you for that. But no one else has been interested. And in, with some of the reputation I seem to have around the comic book community, people aren't interested. And that's fine. So I took that down. But I did open up a Patreon account. So there's actually some giveaways from different tiers if you're interested. Obviously, you don't have to, but the link will be in the description if you want to check it. Or it's also where the front page is under my thumb, not the thumbnail, but the the um, the big picture uh, where you see where you originally could sign up or, you know, get the cash back program and stuff. It's right there. So if you want to, you're more than welcome to. But again, it's not mandatory. So don't forget to wait until the end to see who's today's surprise subscriber shout out. If you did watch until the end, please tell me what color piece of paper this is. I always appreciate those who watch the entire videos. And leaving that lets me know that you did. So please take the time in the comment section to write down that color piece of paper. And in case you're colorblind or you didn't see the exact color, just say pink. You don't have to go into any other colors. And uh, that's it. So we're going to do the surprise subscriber shout out. If you want one, just hit subscribe. Let me know in the comment section if you want one. I always write your name down. And just be patient because a lot of people have asked. So that's it. Thanks for watching. And don't forget, it's not you. It's not I. It's We Love Comics. Thanks for watching, everybody. And Wolverine, who looks like a badger, says hasta la vista, baby. Hey everybody, thanks for watching my video. If you'd like to connect with me on Facebook, you can click right here. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, you could click right here. If you'd like to get 2% cash back on your comic book purchases off of eBay, you can click here. If you want to hit subscribe and join the channel, we'd love for you to click here. Now, on to the surprise subscriber shout out.